Authorities in Pakistan's eastern Punjab province ordered all schools and universities closed for two days on Friday in response to spreading protests over an alleged on-campus rape in Lahore. The closures, affecting approximately 18 million students, aim to curb unrest that has gripped multiple cities. Tensions escalated after reports of the alleged rape at the Punjab Group of Colleges campus in Lahore surfaced on social media, prompting protests across four cities. In Gujarat, clashes between student protesters and police turned deadly when a security guard was killed. Police arrested a suspect in connection with the incident. While the government and police have denied that a rape occurred on the college campus, they are pursuing the arrest of nearly three dozen individuals, including several journalists, who they accuse of spreading misinformation that fueled the protests. Students, however, remain unconvinced and have planned further demonstrations. On Friday, rallies were expected in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, demanding justice for the alleged victim. The protests intensified a day after hundreds of students ransacked a college building in Rawalpindi. Police responded with tear gas, arrested more than 250 protesters and charged at the crowds. The demonstrations appear to have emerged spontaneously as student unions have been banned in Pakistan since 1984, leaving no official student organizations to coordinate the movement. In a separate development, the political party of imprisoned former Prime Minister Imran Khan announced nationwide protests to oppose alleged constitutional amendments. Khan supporters accused current Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif of attempting to influence judicial appointments, a claim the government denies. Sexual violence against women is a pervasive issue in Pakistan but is often underreported due to societal stigma. Public protests over such incidents are rare in the conservative country, making the current unrest significant.